Okay, hello everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, my name is Ian, and today Easton and I are going to take you through some outfits using some pieces that we thought are a little overlooked in the shop, um, or in other words, some sleeper pieces. So let's get right into it. For my first outfit, my sleeper piece here is this CDG button down shirt with this beautiful color block pattern here on the back shoulders. Um, I just really like this piece because I think it's um, got a nice formalness to it. Um, it's kind of like a businessman with a little pizzazz, a little color. Um, the greens and the oranges also um, kind of remind me of spring, summer. And so if you know me, I really like colors. And um, my favorite color is blue. And I think that the blue stripe on this shirt is just really beautiful. Get a better look at it there. Um, so then to pair with that, I chose some Orslo 107s in the Stonewash. Um, these are probably my favorite pants by Orslo. I love the punk rocker look. Um, they get better over time. And I think with this, these two pieces together, it's a good mix of formal and a little grungy. Um, and that's kind of how I like to dress myself. And for the shoes, Visvim Skagway Lows um, in a classic black colorway. Um, you know, reminds you of the classic Converse silhouette, Chuck Taylor. Um, and I really like the platform on these. It kind of adds that extra kick to it. Um, gives me an extra inch as well. <laughs> kind of a short guy. But um, I think all together, it's a fit you know, that you could wear to like a nice place, but still um, kind of keep your character and personality in it as well. And yeah, so basically why I think this piece is overlooked, I think people, you know, see this beautiful shirt on the front and you know on the back they're expecting it to be uniform with the front and so they get a little scared on you know how to incorporate that into their wardrobe but um, I just did a video on colors um, you just kind of got to step out of your, you know your comfort zone um, it's definitely different but I think they did different in a really good way yeah and so kind of to combat the craziness going on in the shirt um, I chose pieces that are a little more core basic um, so you know a good mixture of things. You're not being too loud with the pants or the shoes. Um, it's really just the shirt is the centerpiece here, and that was kind of what I was going for. All right, um, so I'm gonna throw this outfit on, uh, see what it looks like on body, and uh, we'll get to the next one. So for my first outfit, or I guess for my first piece that I thought has been kind of overlooked, um, we're actually going to be doing two for this outfit. One is this shirt uh, by Comme des Garçons. Uh, it is a blue and white striped shirt that they came out with uh, for this spring-summer season. Um, the thing that I really like about it the most is the boldness of the stripes and the colors themselves. I think that this dark blue is something that uh, I really like in a wardrobe, and I think in a shirt it's a really cool look. Um, I think it works really well with black shoes and with some more formal wear sort of things. So I've chosen this shirt for, I think, another video or two about styling, um, and I just think it's kind of overlooked because of the sort of bold pattern on the front. Um, those stripes can be, I think, a little uh, daunting, um, but I don't think it has to be something that uh, steers you away from this piece. And it's an opportunity to use some very um, traditional colors, uh, nothing outside of the box as far as, you know, it's just a really beautiful, like kind of like Royal Navy blue. But um, because of the pattern being different, it gives you kind of a uh, outlet to express yourself a little differently than maybe you normally would. And with those is gonna be my second sleeper piece of the, of the outfit, which are these Universal Works um, like jogger pants. I have them in a 32 uh, waist. I'm hoping that that kind of gives me a little bit of breathing room in them. Uh, my inspiration, I guess, for this was kind of like a little bit of Dries-esque in that they have this side paneling and this sort of like chocolate brown makes me think of some of the more um, like loungewear pieces that I've seen uh, designers coming out with recently. And I think it'll be an interesting play with the dark blues and the browns. I'm hoping they work together. Uh, as a piece by itself, I think what's being overlooked is, I mean, it's a jogger. Uh, I think that there's been a, you know, 
an abundance of joggers that have come out, especially in the fashion world recently. Um, what I like about these ones in particular is the color. So again, the brown with that dark blue on the side, I think is just something I haven't seen. And so I'm excited to give those a go with the shirt, I hope. And I think they'll work well together. Um, and again, you have something kind of casual, something a bit more formal. And then for the shoes, we're just doing the Visvum Skagway lows. Uh, you know, keep it simple, nothing crazy. Um, but I think there's a few different shoe options you could hypothetically use with this outfit. Uh, and yeah, so we're gonna give that a try, put that on and uh, see how it goes. Uh, I think it's gonna work well, um, but you never know. So uh, yeah, let's see how it, how it looks. So um, for my second outfit here, um, I chose, it's kind of like a little Levi's vintage clothing thing going on here, a couple sleepers. Um, so the jeans here are the 517s, um, the orange tab flared Fantasia jeans here from Levi's. Um, I love these jeans, the flare at the bottom, you know, just adds that extra little statement to your outfit. Um, and it adds like nice little like drape like the way it sits on your shoes and stuff, it looks really cool the way um, it layers on your legs. And I just think it's an overall really cool jean, kind of throwing it back to the um, 70s there with the flare. Um, it's just an easy way to kind of up your outfit, even if you wore it with a, a basic white t-shirt. And so on top, I've got this Lee's Vias Vintage Clothing jacket on top of a Gitman Bros Seersucker button down in all white. Um, so I'm using the white to kind of settle down the colors on the jacket. You know, I don't want to clash. I don't want to be too loud up top. Um, and the reason I picked this jacket is because it is nice and loud. Um, I love the colors. This neon peach with this bubblegum pink here um, and a nice soft yellow as well. It's a great jacket. I think it's very unique as well. Um, you don't really see, you know, the mix match sleeve. And um, I really like that. I like unique and new. Um, so, and with the shoes, I did Doc Martens, just the classic black eyelet shoe with the classic, you know, staple um, yellow stitching there. And um, I think the boot will really look really cool with the jeans, and you know, everything will work together here. It'll be a fun, playful outfit. And so, you know, I think some of these are overlooked. Um, start with the jeans. The jeans, you know, people hear flare and they kind of go away from it. Um, a lot of things that are popular right now are just straight legs or you look with that tapered style, you know. But I think it's a really cool look. Um, it's definitely a vintage look. And um, like I said before, it, it, it's just an easy way to um, upscale an outfit. Um, a lot of everyone's wearing regular straight leg jeans. Um, so if you want to look unique and stand out, I think it's a great way to do it. So, and then I think this jacket is overlooked because of, you know, the bright colors going on, especially because of, you know, people may look at this jacket and say these colors are a bit childish, but I mean, what's wrong with being a little youthful? Um, <laughs> no, who, who wants to grow up, right? But um, I actually personally bought this jacket myself um, because I never want to grow up and I just love the colors. It's bright, it's summer, and um, it's an easy way to stand out and, you know, keep it fresh. So yeah, um, same old, no. So yeah, um, I'm gonna throw this outfit on, see you, um, what it looks like, and show you guys why these pieces actually make a, a great outfit. So that was the first outfit that I had chosen. You may or may not have seen Ian's outfits in between, um, not quite sure yet. But uh, so here's the second one. And for this one, I'm just highlighting this one piece right here uh, by LVC. It's this kind of, you know, lime green uh, sweater that they came out with. They have another color, which I believe it's like a bright orange. Is that right? And so each of those colors are gonna be difficult to wear. Um, to be quite frank, like I don't, 
wear neon colors very often and I certainly don't gravitate towards bright colors generally. Um, but I wanted to try to work it in with an outfit that would kind of um, not subdue it, but it would calm it down to a point where you could ostensibly wear this piece and wear it casually without it having to call so much attention to itself while still kind of, you know, changing things up a little bit. So we took this sweater um, and just added a pair of 105s, the uh, One Wash from Orso. Um, what I like about that is instead of the 107, you're getting a more relaxed look. And with the dark denim, I think it plays well with the super bright color. I think if you were to take the two-year wash, that lighter wash of denim is going to, uh, I think, bring out the color more in this. Or actually, well, honestly, I don't know. There's just something aesthetically that seems right about the darker denim. I can't really put my finger on why, but um, yeah, so we chose those. And then sticking with the black Skagways, again, trying to keep the shoe, uh, you know, kind of um, out of the picture while still making some sort of style elements to it. Um, I think this kind of reminds me of something that I'd see like uh, worn by maybe honestly someone a little older who's trying to um, still wear stuff that makes them feel comfortable, but that is also like trying to step out a little bit. Um, I think if you replace these Skagways with just a pair of uh, Chuck Taylors and call it a day, I think you'd get the same sort of look obviously. And I think it's something that all of us and anyone could really throw on. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of colors like this, but I think in this way, I, I think it actually will look really great. So uh, yeah, we're gonna put that one on and see how it goes. And then we'll do the last uh, look. Um, again, I guess the reason why this would be slept on is just because of the color. There's nothing else that would be um, reason to pass it up. So we're gonna try to work with that and uh, get a good outfit out of it. All right, so um, for the third final outfit today, um, I chose a nice little go out and get a drink hopefully by um, a nice beachside view. Um, but so the sleepers here are these, the two tops, this Levi's jacket here, just a nice denim jacket and a nice light wash. And um, this La Paz short sleeve button down with the uh, martini glass print. All right, so um, I chose this jacket here because I really like blue. Um, jean jackets are really easy to wear over things. Um, it's a nice way to just layer um, in your outfits and um, you know I, I'm not a fan of like the darker washes either so I'm attracted to this light wash here um, it kind of gives me like 90s vibes um, and I like that and so under that is the La Paz button down with the martini glasses um, La Paz does actually a couple different prints on this shirt but I went ahead and chose the martini because um, I like to have a good time uh, I like to go out to get some drinks um, I'm kind of a Jack and Coke kind of guy, but if I'm feeling a little fancy, a Negroni doesn't hurt. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you're ever in Boulder, come by, come grab a drink. <laughs> but um, I just really like this shirt. It's just classic. Um, this kind of natural color right here makes it easy to wear with anything, and I think it looks really well paired with the blue. Um, got some little Moscow Sunnies here. Just a nice classic black to throw on top. Um, like I said before, beach side. That's where you want to be. Can't let the sun in your eyes. And uh, for the pants, I chose this nice um, olive green. It's got a nice texture to it as well um, by Beams Plus. They're nice and slim as, as well, um, so it, it keeps your look nice and formal. And that's kind of what I'm going for, like nothing too crazy here. I want to be able to step into a restaurant and grab a drink. And for the shoes, super basic. The white Gilly mock sneaker by Needles. Um, I love this kind of hint of grayish green here as well. I think it pairs with um, what else I have going on. And the style of lacing on this, I think it's called the Gilly style, is really cool the way it kind of goes through the sides. Um, it's just different and, and unique and, I, and I, I'm attracted to that. Um, so um, I think that this piece is overlooked. You know, out of all the pieces I've chosen today, this is probably the one I'm most confused about. It's, it's a really simple jean jacket, and the color's there, and 
I think it's a really great piece, um, really basic as well that anyone can um, throw into their wardrobe. And as the as for the La Paz shirt, um, maybe people just don't want to be too forward that they like drinking. <laughs> um, so maybe it's not for everyone. For cocktail hour, I think it makes a great shirt. <laughs> and so let's throw all this on and see what it looks like. last outfit that I'm going to be talking about today. So, it's been a good day. Um, this one I have three pieces, I believe, that I feel to be are uh, overlooked in our shop. The first, I will start with my favorite piece, uh, which is this corridor uh, lightweight jacket. I believe it's some sort of linen blend. Um, I am playing with the idea of getting this myself, actually. I think that the colors are really uh, really nice. I think that the weight of it is also quite nice and I think that um, having a light jacket for the summer is something that I personally don't really have and so I think this could be the one for me. Um, we also have quite a few of them left so I'm wondering why people have kind of uh, looked past it. Um, my guess might be that this pattern can read I think to be a little dated. Um, I think that because of the colors um, it can maybe also feel a little bit old, but I honestly think it's kind of a nice vintage look to it. Um, so we're gonna go with that, but playing off of the kind of vintage older look to this whole thing, I have one of these uh, Gitman, uh, it's like a short sleeve button up with these like little globes that have like mesh um, on them. So it's kind of a cool pattern. Um, I've highlighted the green version of this. This is the white uh, version that they came out with. Again, um, a really great uh, shirt, I think, for the spring and summer, and just a really subtle pattern in there, which I think is really cool. Um, and I think that, well, I'm obviously wearing quite a bit of white today. I think having a nice white shirt um, in general, but especially for spring and summer, is something that is really important for a wardrobe. So um, yeah, I think it'll play well with a little bit of white in the jacket. And again, we're kind of keeping things light tonally throughout the entire outfit. The third being this beams, uh, like kind of corduroy pant. Um, I'm taking an XL in that because these pants tend to fit a little small. Um, they're also always short. Beams cuts their pants short purposefully, which um, I don't. I'm not the hugest fan of that, to be quite honest. Uh, I prefer a pant to be longer than shorter nine times out of ten. But uh, I took the XL so that maybe I could get a little bit more length in there. And also, because it's not, uh, and, uh, and the, the waist I think in most of those pants is a little slim. Um, so we're gonna see if the bigger proportions um, help out with the outfit. And then the last thing is just the shoes, the uh, Skagways in the uh, just off-white um, color. Again, could have gone with, I'm uh, more or less deciding between the white and the black Skagways. I think that this fits, I guess, the tones of the outfit more, and I think will make it uh, look a little bit younger, possibly. Um, there's a little bit of red in the shoe, too, which I think plays well with some of these browns in the jacket. Um, so, yeah, that's that outfit. Uh, overall, I'd say that this is probably the one I would be most interested in wearing, mainly because of this piece. I just think it's... The way it fits too, I really enjoy, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try this on, and we'll see how it looks, and yeah, those are those outfits, so let's see what it looks like. so thanks again for watching um, if you have any questions about some of the stuff that we picked out whether it is uh, sizing questions or maybe about how you think there are other ways to style these things uh, let us know you know send us a comment give us an email whatever you may uh, want to do um, other than that uh, yeah let us know also if you have any content ideas or if you like what you've been seeing it's really helpful 
for us to gauge interest and to gauge what we need to do going forward because we're trying to do this uh, with you guys in mind. So um, yeah, anything that you have uh, critique or uh, compliment is more than appreciated. So on that note, uh, I'm going to sign off for today. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys soon and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.